Boy, are you guys in for a treat today. A movie I'm actually excited about reviewing. Fantastic Four. What do you mean it's not the right one? Could be possibly worse than the Roger Corman Fantastic Four. Ah, shit! In 2005, Marvel Studios made another Fantastic Four movie. What makes this movie so bad? Well, the director did this. An extraordinary day at the barber shop. I need a cut. A little off the top, long in the back, but not quite no shag. Slope to the left like Gumby. Eddie Monster in the front, a little white cliff on the right. Come on, hook that up. And this. You jumped in the right cab today. I don't usually stop for white guys. My way of balancing the universe. Is this movie fun, fast, and fantastic? Hell no! Let's dive right into Fantastic Four. Our movie opens up with the one theme wonder John Ottoman, who at this point is cashing on the success of X2, which has only come out two years prior. We see a giant statue of Tony Stark. And then we're introduced to our main characters, Reed Richards, played by Ian Gruffud? Yon Gruff Gruffud? 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 Who isn't a bad Mr. Fantastic, just kind of bland. Ben Grimm is played by Michael Chiklis, which happens to be excellent casting. Reed and Ben are going to Victor Von Doom's office to propose that he fund a space expedition to study a cosmic cloud that is going to pass by Earth. Von Doom seems hesitant to the fact that Reed is somehow bankrupt. This is just one of the many things that would have been interesting to explore. Why is he bankrupt? Where did he go to school? What exactly is Reed a doctor of? Well, apparently we don't need to know any of this, as well as we never find out why he's bankrupt or in debt in the first place. But anyway, now we're introduced to Victor Von Doom, played by Julian Macar... Mc, uh, McMahon? So McMahon? Julian McMahon? No, 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 that, that has to be a mistake, that's not... Continue. He's right, Ben. It is just business. Susan We're then introduced to Susan Storm, played by... Oh man! I forgot they had Jessica Alba in this movie. Damn you, A.V.R. Hey, Red! They cast a well-known actress who not only can act, but they lighten her skin tone as well as gave her blue eyes and blonde hair. Isn't that borderline reverse blackface? It's hinted that her and Reed had some sort of falling out. Is this a sequel? All these interesting plot points this seems like something you would problem. see in a sequel. Well, not at all. Sue and Reed have a history and there's some tension between Reed, Sue, and Doom? And Ben Grimm just stands there. Maybe even pay off your fourth mortgage on the Baxter building. He went to MIT? He owns the Baxter building? Yeah. How? Why? And on another note, you should never put Mike Chiklis in a turtleneck. He looks like a penis. So sorry to interrupt! Proceed. Anyway, Reed agrees to Doom's terms for funding the space expedition. It's funny how things turn out, isn't it? <laughs> I can't tell if Doom is being serious or he's generally being sarcastic about being in this movie. It's funny how things turn out, isn't it? <laughs> We're then introduced to Johnny Storm, played by Chris Evans. Although I would prefer Torch to be played by someone much younger, Chris Evans does a real good job as Johnny Storm. By the way, I love how no way that motorcycle's attached to that car. The lines from Johnny and Ben are the only thing that these writers got right while making this movie. And to their credit, they're dead on for their characters. I can handle this shit. Digital camera, $254. Memory stick, $59. The look on your hard-ass former CEO's face when he finds out he's your junior officer. Priceless. Love that MasterCard joke, doesn't date the movie in any way, timeless. And holy shit, look at that laptop, looks like it's from the 90s. The synthetics act as a second skin, adapting to your body's individual needs. And that's the only scientific line this supposed scientist has throughout this entire movie. Enjoy. Chlorophyll? More like borophyll. Right? Something you notice throughout this film is that the filmmaker goes out of his way to spell everything out for you because he thinks you're an idiot. Anyway, they head out to space and in case you didn't put it together, here's a text screen letting you know how the shuttle is docking. The team gets ready for their experiment while Valdim is acting like an asshole. He's an asshole. Oh, man, come on. Bad CGI counter coming up. Well, as scientists do, Reed makes an error and the cosmic cloud accelerates. 
47 seconds. That's impossible. It should be seven hours. Doom tries to propose to Sue while being an evil asshole. He's an asshole. The company's accomplished so much. Let me just uh, grab that clip. I'm gonna come back to it later. Reed interrupts them to tell them the cloud is accelerating. The cloud is accelerating. We've got minutes until it hits, not hours. Victor, that storm is deadly. We need to abort. Get a grip, Reed. We didn't come all this way to lose our nerve at the first glitch. Just close the shields. Ben is still out there. So reel him in. So reel him in. Ben is still out there. Yeah, so reel him in. Ben is still out there. I hate Reed Richards. I hate him. Ben, turn around. Guys, I'm not gonna make it. Ben, you gotta jump. It's the only way. Cut to white and they all wake up in the Von Doom Recovery Center. And is it just me or would you really not want to wake up in a place called the Doom Recovery Center? <laughs> you will burn! Back on Earth. We're in quarantine. Victor's medical facility. Reed? Sue? Oh, they're fine. Everybody else is fine. What's wrong with me? I swear to you, Ben, they've done everything humanly possible. The best plastic surgeons in the world are here, Ben. You had the best. Give me that mirror. Mirror! I don't know if that's a good idea. They said the shock alone. Said, give me that goddamn mirror! <laughs> they all seem normal and feel okay. Meanwhile, at Bomb Doom Enterprises, Doom and his board are doing some stuff. Well, Victor. Bank would like to congratulate you. I'm the fastest free fall since the depression. We can't even give your stock away. The company's accomplished so much. You know I can turn this around? Well, you're going to have to, Victor, or we pull out. You should go, you should.